This is a, a long awaited follow up of a video I made some time ago about some modifications I made to a DigiDesign uh, 001 setup. Yeah, this is just an update on my research over the time that I've done. And uh, some of it's to do with the interconnects between the hard disk and the main board. Don't go for as long as you can go for the SATA cable. Try to match the length for as, as long as you need it to go. Don't allow it to go too long. There's multiple lengths available, as you can see. Some very short ones. Now, when you want to have noise immunity from the components, you can have it wrapped up in like a foil. This one's in a foil, but it's like with insulated tape around it, and there's an earth connector there. And here's one I prepared earlier. There you go, wrapped in foil. All right. Now you have to obviously solder on your own earth pin, which will then be like this situation here. Got the FY here. Let's go into the SATA cable. Uh, there's just enough length there where there's like roughly one loop, and then you have the ferret clip, source noise suppression attached, and this setup. I've just got the one hard disk attached, no DV drive, whatever. But I've also, of lately, I've added all these here. Now, someone's seen a video where it looks like a scorpion type of thing. Well, now the trick is that you've got to find the center where the black cop wires go into the connector and then they're evenly divided and you run that and you find as many of these as you can go and that goes to the power supply that's to help with the noise immunity because you can have uh, situations here where a radio was a good demonstration of what kind of noise you can find inside a computer Pretty quiet now. Maybe that's the uh, those ferret clips doing their magic. But we've got a monitor over here, which is kind of noisy. There we are. In the back of the PC at the back here. Okay, so that might be doing something good. And you've got the additional 12 volt line as well coming from the pass blind to the main board. That doesn't hurt to uh, have them there as well. There's additional noise immunity. Because the purpose of this is mostly because you've got problems with the USB peripherals people complain about. It may not be the USB itself that's at fault, but the system power supply provide, providing the power to the USB peripheral. If that's clean, the output to the USB will also be clean. And equally for the USB, the uh, PCI card here as well. Now, the power supply is clean. The power out from the PCI card to the interface will also be clean. Because there's such a long length as well, I've also decided to shield the cabling to minimise the skin effect because signals can run down the length of the cable and can then uh, migrate to the equipment that you're trying to interface to. Now this is a tried and true method here. You have the connector, it's nicely wound, yeah, wrapped up. Find a nerve point to be hooked up to, like that, and then you have some ferret clips there as well. Yeah, 
And now, some extreme here, as I've gone ahead and got one of those Digi Double O Twos, sort of doing its job. No, no, it's having a bit of a problem with the uh, cable. But you did see it working earlier. This is extreme. Sorry about this bit of a mess. But here is those ferret. But not clips now because I've actually replaced them with permanent ones. Oh, there's one there. Sure, it's a mini one. Anyway, um, and I can, you can see here that I've also removed the uh, connecting to the 12 volt digital board, which is, no. I haven't found it to be necessary. I have got the original power supply, the uh, silver one, not the gold one, but the silver one. And just beware that the gold one, the orientation of the power is the reverse. You've got the 3 volts coming at the top instead of the 12 volts at the top. Now, it's doing its job. Now, I've borrowed some things from those line people, such as the capacitor there for the 12 volt line. Be aware that it's uh, minus and plus 12 volts, so you've got to wire the capacitors correctly for that. And also, it might help just a little. There you go, a little food feed there. Yeah. Additional to the existing wound inductors there. Anyway, um, that's about all I can show at the moment. Yeah. There's my dingy old uh, HD25s. They're pretty good monitoring those. I've had them for a while. I haven't disappointed me too much. They've helped, definitely helped me to hear the uh, quality of music that I expect. Anyway. sample there of something, won't say, I'll probably detect it anyway, there's some more stuff, yeah, get a demo of here of, uh, alright, get something to listen to, worthwhile, it's kind of a bit rubbish, sorry, there we go, Look, I'm trying to reproduce that. If you can reproduce that, and if it works out good for you, you can donate to me on my PayPal account. It'd be nice. Yeah, there's a. Uh, I'm sort of a part-time worker as it is. Yeah, the uh, evil employers of the day. I don't care what you get up to. I have to do this another time anyway. Again.
Anyway, the uh, end result generally will be that um, the clarity in the audio will uh, become pretty obvious. Okay, the clarity of the vocals, like rather than just hearing it passively and in your mind sort of filling in what the words might be, sometimes those words will actually pop out at you and you can hear them. All right, and also the highs. There's the high peak noise of certain instruments, like simply brass, okay, and some vocals. You'll hear the natural harshness of some vocals, like a Jimmy Bun kind of guy, or whatever. And then you've got the, the bass. The bass will be, uh, how would you say? You would almost like feel it, but it's not necessarily uh, where it's going to blow the headphones. But you'll 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 feel the it's just the better. It'll sound more natural than made up. Alright, that should be enough. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Um, and put up with my stuff. It's not bullshit. This stuff works. You try it out. You evaluate it for yourself. If it works, yep, donate me please because I need the money. Bye bye.